afternoon and welcome to the fourth annual LMP National Competition Awards Luncheon. I'm Faye Gaze. I'm the Vice President of State Relations and Educational Programs for the Educational Institute. The idea for the event is simple. It's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to challenge your skills, it's supposed to get great networking opportunities. How many of you met new friends here, made new friends, traded emails? Hey, that's great. That's what it's all about. Because you never know when you're going to run into that person next to you again, and your paths will cross. Because this moment is also a triumph for you, and one of many to come, it's an honor just to compete or to be nominated. I'm Brittany Wilhelm. I'm from North Beach High School, South Carolina. My name is Odin Poros. I go to Miami Beach Senior High, and I'm from Miami, Florida. I'm uh, Dana Richardson. I'm from Washington, D.C. Sarah Berry, and we're from Mina High School in Arkansas. I'm Katie, and I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. My name is Evie. I'm from Simon Sanchez on Guam. I'm Griffin Gelman. I'm a senior, and I go to White Mountains Regional High School. It's a great competition. It's a great way to showcase the students who really have worked hard and who really prepare for this event. I, I think this competition um, has taught the students they're, they're being able to show their creativity, their knowledge, their professionalism, all the things that they're taught basically in, in class or in the rotations that they do at a hotel. Oh, I think the competition is, is vitally important to the program um, and to get the kids prepared for the real, for the real industry. I think the competition is excellent. I think uh, Faye Gaze and her folks have done a great job of putting together uh, a national competition that's worthy of, uh, of the competitive spirit of all the folks that we have here. Well, you know, I've, I've been here for two or three years and, and watched the, the students just get better and better. It seems like every year they're, they're more polished, they're more practiced, they know what they're doing. Uh, NIH and LA, obviously on the lodging side, one of our largest uh, challenges is, is finding uh, qualified people that come into our profession that help us operate our, our hotels. Well, I think, I think we have, we're seeing the future leaders of the hospitality industry right here today, and uh, couldn't be brighter. Johnson & Wales is definitely very committed to the lodging management program. Um, once a student completes the program, we know how beneficial it is for them to be successful with us, and we award a $1,000 scholarship that's renewable for all four years while they're at the uh, university as well as at these competitions at the state level and at the national level we award scholarships because we know the students gain these skills to be successful in our courses that we teach at the university. So it's a great fit and win for us. I'm amazed. Uh, they, they seem so uh, mature in hospitality to be high school students and, and clearly uh, this is the way to to build the, the pool that we need of people that we're going to be so short of in this industry. Uh, obviously this is the, the, the youth, this is the future of the hotel industry um, and betting of course is a pretty important part of the, of the hotel industry so it's, it's a good combination for us, it's a good way for us to, uh, to give back to the industry. You know, our support uh, of the education side is, is key in helping get new, uh, new employees into the industry and really help fill the gaps throughout America in terms of um, the expansion and the growth that, that hotel companies are, are seeing right now. So. They ought to get on board. Very plain and simple. Yeah, this is the future. It's phenomenal. Um, when we take a look at what the situation is in our industry and the shortage of qualified workers, and what these students know. Um, we really need industry to get involved, and I think they just don't realize how intense this program is and that the kids want to be in the industry, and we have a great resource with our high school program. I actually got accepted to Johnson Wales University, and I'm going to be doing international marketing, specifically targeted at hotels and motels and large resorts. I plan to be an entrepreneur. I plan to start my own chain of hotels and uh, get my own brand name out hopefully soon. I plan to uh, attend FIU and major in hospitality and management. So, it's, it's, a, it, it's, 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 a, it's a way of life in Miami. You know, it's a booming industry in Miami, the hospitality industry, and uh, we live all around it. We see tourists all, the, all day and maybe 37 cents of every tax dollar is, is paid by a tourist. So, you know, we kind of have to give back to them and give them the service. They love it. That's why they keep coming back. We love it. I actually want to become a CPA for major hotels and casinos. 
I actually like the banquet and catering of the hotel, so maybe I want to like manage something around in that area. That's what I'm interested in. Uh, in the fall, I'll be heading to Coastal Carolina University in Myrtle Beach for travel and tourism management. And I plan on going right into the field of event planning. Team! <laughs> He needs to let everyone know, all the, the tour companies and guests and everyone in the area that the property is under new management and that there are being major changes being made. Morning. How are you? Nice to meet you, Michael. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Just to wrap up. Some of the things he could have done was just hire those type of agencies because they do have the skills and although your hotel may have different standards, but that's all adjustable, that, that can be accommodated. And what they have to do is they have to come in and identify uh, 10 things that are wrong with the room. Uh, some examples are that there's no pillowcases on the, on the pillows, so if, you know, if you live in the bedroom, that's my bed to see them. Uh, there's no soap in the, in the bathroom, there's uh, water in the sink. The bath mats in the tub, there's a towel hanging uh, behind the door. Things that should have been cleaned up in normal housekeeping. They took, they took everything out. You could just have one big speaker and a mic and... No, just draw a stand. Um, our menu consists of a delicious Caesar salad, <laughs> a flavorful bow tie pasta with grilled chicken breast, asparagus tips, and red pepper pesto. For dessert, uh, we have cheesecake with strawberry sauce. Uh, following dessert, we will enjoy an assortment of coffees and teas. This is truly a delicious luncheon. <laughs> and that's what I read in there. <laughs> Team number 10, your question? D30. D30. A guest's registration record is completed during which guest cycle stage? Best person. What is the laundry cycle? Wholesale rooms report. The hotel's laundry cycle. And the first place overall winner award goes to team number five from Mountain View Academy, New Hampshire. And this is the second year in a row for them. Congratulations to Mountain View Academy and to all our overall winners. Congratulations again to all the teams. And it's so exciting, I get goosebumps when I see the kids and how happy they are and excited they are for all the work they've put into it and, and what they've achieved. And you, you can't put into words what that means. These kids want to be in our industry and to see them succeed is unbelievable. And that knowledge bowl with those kids just rattling off the answers, I'm sure there's GMs that couldn't answer the questions they, they're able to answer. So we're excited about it. We're looking forward to next year, and we hope that we have more sponsors and more states involved. They ought to get on board. Very plain and simple. Yeah, this is the future. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Taking it home for the home team.